Hello all, welcome to session 21 of Selenium 4 training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate handling mouse and keyboard events using Actions class in Selenium. So let's get started. Actions class is a predefined class in Selenium WebDriver. It contains various predefined methods using which we can simulate mouse and keyboard events. Now, let me practically demonstrate a big list of these predefined methods of the actions class for simulating the mouse and keyboard events one by one. First, we'll start with this predefined methods of the actions class. So, to demonstrate this example, I'll take you to this application. That is omaya.blogspot.com, one of the sample applications that, that I generally use for demonstrations. So what I want to do is, I want to simulate this mouse event, okay? Whatever the mouse event I'm going to show you that I want to automate using Selenium, guys. Let's say this is my mouse. I want to move my mouse onto this blocks menu option. Under that one of the option of this menus, that is I want to move my mouse from blocks to the Selenium byron. Initially my mouse is here. So I want to move like this. And after that, I want to move my mouse here and then click on this Selenium by Arun. Using Selenium automation, I want to do that, okay? Fine, like this, it should happen, guys, okay? So how to do that? For that, guys, I'll open this IntelliJ idea editor where the project which is already configured with Selenium is already created and available. And inside this main method of this demo class, I'll write some Selenium automation code. That is web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup. Okay, that's it. Now after that, I'll simply say web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Now I'll import this web driver interface from Selenium library. Chrome driver is already imported here. Otherwise, you have to import that. Fine. Anyhow, now I'll say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then driver dot get I need to provide the application URL that I want to automate. So this is application URL. Let me copy paste. I'll copy this and paste it here. After copy pasting that application URL in the get command, what I want to do next is I want to simulate the mouse events. Okay, I want to simulate the mouse events where I have to move my mouse onto the blocks and then move my mouse onto the selenium environment. These two actions or events to simulate this uh, mouse events like this moving my mouse onto the blocks and moving thereafter moving to the selenium bio room. what i have to do is i have to create an object for one of the predefined classes in selenium web driver that is actions it's not action which it's actions actions okay it's plural actions actions is equal to new actions like this i need to create objects for the actions class and i need to first import this actions predefined class from selenium library and this constructor cannot be empty so I need to pass this uh, object reference of this web driver. There is this particular driver object I have to provide here. That's it. Okay. Now, guys, I need to use this object reference. Okay. So with the help of this object reference of this actions predefined class of Selenium, I can access a lot of predefined methods of this actions class. I can simply say actions dot. The moment I say dot, guys, I'll get all the predefined methods of this actions class. So I'll use this uh, first method, first predefined method of the actions that is move to element, okay? That means it will move my mouse onto the element. But here, this, here we need to pass the web element, guys, okay? To which web element we want to move the mouse? Let's say the mouse is here. I want to move the mouse onto which web element? This blocks web element, okay? That means I need to create a web element for this blocks first. Let's inspect this blocks option. I inspected this blocks. This is HTML code of this blocks, as you can see. This is HTML code of the blocks. Uh, luckily, it has an ID. Copy this ID attribute value. And here, create a web element, guys. Okay, driver dot find element by dot ID. I'll just create a web element for that blocks. Okay, for blocks menu, I'll create a web element. I'll simply say blocks menu element. Like this, I'll create a variable or object reference kind of thing and say create. Okay. So it's a web element now. Now I'll copy this blocks menu element and provide it here inside this as an argument to this move to element predefined method of the actions class. Okay. So the moment I provide that, what should happen, guys? If I put a semicolon here and uh, if I run this code, what should happen? 
my mouse should go onto the blocks, but it will not happen, guys. Okay, whatever you thought will not happen with this command. I was expecting that my mouse will move onto the blocks, but that will not happen. I'll tell you why. Okay, first let me run this, and I'll explain later why why it has not happened. I'll explain later. Okay, why my mouse has not moved to the blocks menu? I'll tell you. It's very important, guys, uh, to understand why it has not happened. Okay. So it has opened the Chrome browser, maximize the browser, and open the application URL. Now, you see, observe my mouse. My mouse is there itself, and uh, it has not uh, moved onto the blocks menu, right? Blocks menu is not. If it has been moved, my blocks menu would have looked like this, right? This kind of thing we have would have seen on the screen, but that didn't happen. Why? Because there's one thing, but one important thing we have to, that you have to understand, guys. Okay, for any of the predefined methods. Of the actions class to run or work, okay. For any of the predefined methods of the actions class to run or work, at the end of that predefined method, we have to provide another predefined method known as perform. If you don't say dot perform, it can be move to element or any other predefined method of the action class for that particular predefined method to work. At the end of that particular predefined method of the actions class, we have to provide perform. Then only these commands will run. Okay, now let's run this time. It will happen, guys. You see, run it. Don't fiddle your mouse here and there while the script is running because we are simulating. We are actually simulating the mouse, right? It's better to not to do this kind of activities. Fine. Let's see what will happen this time. This time it should work. What happened, guys? My mouse got moved onto the blocks. Okay, but not uh, visually, guys. Internally, it has moved. Okay, so. Here, simulating how the mouse movements means you will not see your cursor moving onto the block, right? You will not see the cursor moving onto the blocks. Rather, it is happening internally. Okay, the simulation of the mouse events is happening internally. And as you can see, what will happen when you hover the mouse on the blocks? Whatever that you are seeing now will happen, right? All the options of the blocks menu will appear. Now, after this, all the options of blocks menu appear. Next step is I want to move my mouse. I want to simulate moving my mouse onto the this option, Selenium by our own option. Okay, let's do that. First, we have succeeded by moving our mouse onto the blocks. Now, after after moving your mouse onto the blocks, we got this option. Now I want to hover the mouse onto the Selenium by our own. Okay, I want to hover the mouse on the Selenium by our own. So this Selenium by our own option should be selected now. I'll inspect this. And you see, uh, this is a Selenium by our own, guys. Uh, copy this and uh, you see anchor tag span tag and all those things are there that's fine i'll i'll just create an xpath expression for this control f double slash span text is equal to text between the tags is equal to selenium by own okay so like this one on one is coming copy this part and go here and uh, first create a web element guys okay before moving your mouse onto the that uh, uh, selenium by own uh, blocks option menu okay menu option so what you have to do first you have to create an object for this web element for that okay by dot xpath you have to first create a web element for that selenium by own option okay so here i'll say option what was that option guys option two or option three let's see what uh, let's see in the application what is the number of the option it's option two guys so i'll just give option two okay i'll say create local variable web element got created once the web element is created using the same actions object reference i'll simply say actions dot I'll say move to element. Which element I have to move? I have to move to this option to web element and say dot. I should say I should not forget perform guys. Okay. No matter which uh, predefined method of the actions class you use, you just have to end with dot perform. Okay, that's what it is. Otherwise, these commands are not going to work. Predefined methods are not going to work. This time let's run this. First we tell it will move your mouse onto the simulate moving your mouse onto the blocks menu. And after that, it will move your mouse from the blocks menu to the Selenium by our own. Okay. So this time you will see the Selenium by our own option selected, the blocks menu. When the script gets executed. First blocks, then you see the mouse has gone to the Selenium by our own. Now, what is the next thing that I have to do, guys? I have to click on that, right? I need to click on that Selenium by our own. What I have to do in order to click on that Selenium by our own while this option is selected, I want to click on this option. So simple, guys. Simple what we have to do here is we have to say, Action start using mouse only. We can click right. The mouse also has a click operation, right? Actions dot click. Here mouse will click. But this particular predefined method of the actions class, if it has to work, what we have to do? We have to end this click with perform. 
if you don't add perform anywhere this predefined methods of the actions class are not going to work remember that guys okay people often forget this now run this code this time you see using the mouse we are going to click on the selenium by our own option okay first it will hover the mouse on the blocks menu and after that it will hover the mouse onto the selenium by our own and using the mouse itself it's going to click that selenium by our own option you see it has clicked it's loading you see it's taking you to another web page so guys with the help of uh, like uh, we have simulated the mouse using the actions class uh, predefined method okay so far but guys there is one thing that you have to understand okay instead of writing these two lines separately actions dot move to element dot perform actions dot click dot perform like the separate instead of writing them separately guys what you can do is after you write here for example if you hover the mouse on this move to element what is the return type of this move to element actions move to element is returning you an object of the actions that is nothing but the actions object difference only right so instead of saying actions dot move to element dot perform here i will not say dot perform i'll continue this guys okay i'll continue this okay this is an object uh, reference of the actions class only so object reference of the actions class dot click i will say okay dot click till here it is done dot perform dot perform but here there is one more mistake okay i don't have to write the last line guys okay direct uh, separately i don't have to perform mouse click okay first i will say actions dot move to the selenium by i don't know option and then click on that option okay instead of writing uh, two steps for this uh, move to element and click operations i am writing a single step but here multiple predefined methods of the actions class are there okay so in this case not just the perform you have to add one more command that is dot build dot perform here only one predefined method of the actions class is there just perform is end, okay to end this particular statement after this predefined method is called you just have to say dot perform for this particular predefined method to work but if you have uh, using object reference if you are accessing more than two okay more than one more than one predefined methods of the actions class like one of the predefined method is move to element other predefined method is click like this multiple predefined methods if you are trying to write in a single line then simply say dot build dot perform guys okay instead of dot perform you have to say build this particular predefined commands into a single command and then perform okay that's what is a build for if you have more than one use build dot perform okay now run this this time it should work the same manner so here i reduce one of the line right instead of writing in two separate lines i am simply saying dot build dot perform and before that i gave all the predefined commands like move development and click let's wait you see it is working fine it's clicked on the selenium by around using the mouse by simulating the mouse events it has automated this part so far done great so next what is next next is i explained this move to element click perform and build methods so far right so now let's move to the next example guys okay I, that i want to give here the next example that is drag and drop by okay another predefined method of the action class is drag and drop by and this one is very useful when you want to okay drag something drag something and drop it uh, at some position or something okay fine i'll take one example guys how you can drag and drop by okay how you can use this predefined method of the action classes drag and drop by for example this application if you go this application you go you see there is a slider guys okay i want to just drag this to the right side like this okay that's what i want to do so by default it is there here at 200 or something i just want to drag it to the right side by default there is uh, it is at the it is a it is a slider right it's nothing but then a horizontal slider here even some cases we see vertical sliders also okay in this case we have the horizontal slider some cases we can see the vertical sliders also but in case of horizontal sliders we can move this option left and right okay left and right like this okay either you can go to the left or we can go to the right okay by default uh, if you can see if i re if you refresh this page by default this particular start uh, start icon of this uh, slider is available at the 200 okay some 200 number it is there i want to move it to the right side okay let's say how to automate that i'll copy this url i'll remove this all this stuff i will remove guys and then i'll give this up new application url where the slider is available horizontal slider is available so how to apply this uh, command okay drag and drop by for achieving our purpose i'll show you okay so after going to this application guys after going to this application url what i want to do is i want to drag and drop this by 
some points and all. Okay, I'll tell you how to do that. Inspect this. I have right clicked on this, or else you can select here and uh, you know right select this. And this is HTML code of this uh, this icon or this particular thing, this particular option, which you can drag to the right side or left side because it is a horizontal slider. Fine. So this is HTML code, guys. Okay. So I need to create a locator out of this. What I will do is I'll just take one of the attribute guys, which looks unique for me. This one looks unique area label label led by okay this one this attribute name i'll use and i'll say double slash uh, i'll create an export expression control f and say double slash a at the rate give that attribute so this particular one you see uh, one of two is coming but i want to filter it out i'll copy this uh, price min label right uh, is equal to here we have price min label okay just type that price hyphen min hyphen label just type like this and put a simple uh, single quote. So you see now if I press enter, you see only one element is getting located and this is nothing but the, I successfully create an XPath expression for this particular, uh, this start option or whatever you can call, okay? So it's a minimum label option. This is a minimum label option. As you can see, it's a minimum label, okay? So copy this, come back here and say, create a web element for that driver.findElement by.xpath for that minimum label option, which you want to drag and drop by. Just create an uh, just create an XPath expression, and out using this XPath expression, we are going to create a web element. Okay, so min, what is that, guys? Min uh, label. Okay, min label, min label, element. I'll say. Okay, just to give it a feel, I'll say min label element. Okay, done. Now hover the mouse and say create local variable. You see, automatically return type will come. So now what I have to do, guys? Uh, I have to drag this and drop by somewhere. Okay, to the right side. So for that, guys, I have to first, uh, in order to call that drag and drop by command, redefine method of the actions class, we need to first create an object for the actions class. Actions, actions is equal to new actions like this. And uh, we already imported this actions class. Now we just need to pass this driver object reference of the web driver here and say actions dot, what is the command, guys? What is the predefined method? Drag and drop by. There are two things, guys. Normal drag and drop is there. There is drag and drop by. Which one I have to choose? For this requirement, whatever the example I showed you, we should not be going with drag and drop. We have to be going with drag and drop by. Second option we have to choose for this requirement, okay? Drag and drop by. Put a semicolon here and hover the mouse. You see what is, you see this, uh, this, this particular predefined method cannot be empty, guys. We have to pass some arguments. What are the arguments? Let's see. First argument uh, yeah, is going to be this web element, guys, okay? Some source web element. So I have to give this web element. First, I'll give the web element. I'll put a comma here. And uh, what is the second web element? Second web element is X offset and third web element is a Y offset, okay? So two commas you put. Here, first, uh, second argument, we have to give that as a, okay, horizontal. X offset is nothing but the horizontal, okay? So for example, if I give something like uh, 100 here, let's say, 100, and uh, Y part, I'll give zero is, okay? Vertically, we cannot uh, move this slider down, right? This particular option, I cannot move vertically down. I can only move to the right side, okay? So I'm just giving by default, it is there at the 200. If you can see again, by default, this particular option is at the 200. I'm moving by 100. It may not become 300 guys, okay? So this this number is different and this uh, points are different, okay? This is application related, this is the Selenium related, okay? Fine. So you will not get 300, you'll get something, okay? This particular, you'll get a number which is greater than 200, of course, okay? Fine, okay, anyhow. So I run this code, this script will not work, work guys, okay? This particular predefined method will not work because this is one of the predefined method of the actions class, which will only work when you end this particular method with dot perform, okay? Don't forget about perform, guys. then only it will work. Run this, let's see whether the minimum label element will move to the right side on the slider, horizontal slider or not. Let's see. By default, it will be there 200, but uh, you see, it went to 370. That means it has moved to the right side, guys. Okay. Similarly, I can get this uh, element move to the left side, guys. Okay, vertically is not possible. That's why. Okay, vertically moving is not possible. So I gave y offset as zero. But here I want to move to the left side, guys. By default, it is as, uh, at uh, 200. I want to move by minus 50. Okay, minus, minus 50 means it will move to the left side. Simple. Run this. This time it has to move to the left side. So we should see a number less than 200. Okay. Let's wait. 
you see it has moved to the left side right 110k with this reason fine i'll close all this uh, browser instances which got opened with the help of the automation done let's come back so this is how guys we have to use drag and drop by okay so in case of vertical if you have a slider which has vertical scrolling functionality vertically drag and dropping by functionality then we can also use drag and drop by where you have to provide the y offset in that case okay we have to provide y offset anyhow let's move on guys let's move on with the next example or next predefined method of the actions class that is context click okay context click is nothing but the is used for right click guys okay if you want to simulate the mouse right click what will happen guys when you mouse uh, for example if you go to this application let's say let's say let's go to the sample application tutorialsinja.com slash demo if you right click on the search box field what is happening if you right click on the search box field what is happening some options are coming right some options are coming so same thing i want to simulate using selenium for that i have to use one of the predefined methods of the actions class that is context click guys. okay it will right click context click means it will right click so on this application i want to do same thing i want to go to this application and right click on the search box field. okay that's what i want to do for that i'll first uh, copy this application url come back here and here i'll change this application url like this after changing guys uh, then which uh, web element i want to right click on i want to right click on the search box field okay inspect the search box field and uh, this is html code of this search box field guys and uh, it has a name locator okay name attribute value i can use that as a name locator i'll simply create a web element for the search box field by dot name by dot name provide that uh, name attribute value of the search box field that is search i already provided here create a web element guys i'll sim simply say search box search box field i will say okay search box field is equal to hover the mouse on the search box field and say create local variable and uh, now i'll copy this here guys uh, we need to create an object for the actions class actions actions is called new actions and here i need to pass the driver of the web web driver interface and now using the actions class what i have to do guys i have to right click right for right click for mouse right click for simulating the mouse right click what is the predefined method of the actions class we have context click okay you see when i con when i say context click, uh, empty context click is coming or second one okay i want to right click on the search box field okay you should not select this one okay if you want to randomly right click anywhere on the page this one guys okay it will right click somewhere on the page on some left portion of the page left top portion of the uh, page it will right click okay if you don't give the web element but in this case i need to right click on the search box field okay so i'll go with the second version guys that is context click of web element i'll copy this search box field and paste it here now you put a semicolon here this predefined method of the actions class is not going to work because we have to end this predefined method with one other, another predefined method known as perform then only it will work done this now this time you will see that automatically it will right click on the search box field so it will open the chrome browser maximize the browser open the application url and then it will right click on the search box field let's see okay you see it has a right click on the search box field you see right click options came so this this is possible okay we have simulated the mouse right click with the help of one of the predefined methods of the actions class that is context click okay done this example is also done guys now let's move on to the next one what are the different other things where we can simulate the mouse and keyboard actions using the predefined methods of the actions class for that we have double click guys okay i'll show you how to double how to perform double click for example guys i'll take you to this application omai.blogspot.com application and uh, somewhere here you see there is a double click okay somewhere you can see there is a double click so if i single click you see i just now clicked on this for, for one time you see nothing happened but if i double click here what happened this in, in under this drop down button some options are coming you see when i single click i i did the single click you see this drop down options are not coming but if i double click on this immediately this drop down options are coming if this drop down options are coming means you have double clicked here okay that's that's a proof so i want to automate that double click uh, using the mouse i need to double click okay using the mouse i need to double left click double click means double left click okay? so i'll copy this application url go back to the this editor and uh, give the application url and after going there what i want to do next what i want to do next is i want to double click on this uh, double click link okay for that i'll right click on this double click and ins inspect guys okay because i need to create a web element for this double click option here 
so it has some id guys i'll copy this id of this uh, double click okay id attribute value of this double click and create a web element using the id locator how about our find element by dot id provide the id locator and uh, what is this double click option right i'll simply say double click option uh, double click option is equal to okay double click option is equal to and uh, let's create a web element out of this okay web element got created now so in order to perform double click on this is a double click option i need to first create an object for the actions class okay actions actions is equal to new actions like this i need to create an object for the actions class and here in this constructor i need to pass the object reference of the web driver interface then using this object reference of the actions class i need to call a method known as double click okay so normal double click is there double click on the web element is there this time i want to double click on this double click option only okay don't want to double click somewhere on the page okay so i'll go with the second one double click i'll say and inside that i'll pass this double click option and here as you already know we have to end that with dot all the predefined methods of the actions class need to end with dot perform now run this code if you are getting that drop down options means uh, that option has been double clicked okay the double click option got double clicked that is a proof let's see it will open the application url and then it has to double click on the double click option looks like it has double click just scroll a bit down you see the options for the drop down are available that means this has been double clicked then only this options will come okay fine we are done guys okay you are able to double click on that option next next one what are the other predefined methods we have in the actions class and what we uh, what else we can uh, simulate the mouse and keyboard actions or events let's see so we can we can drag and drag and drop guys okay so we can do drag and drop using this predefined methods that is click and hold move to element and release i'll tell you how to do that for that guys we'll i'll take you to this application url this particular application i'll take you okay so here guys i what i want to do is i want to okay what i want to do is i want to move this oslo onto the norway okay drag this uh, oslo what i just want to do is just observe here guys as mood let me refresh here that's okay let it be there so i want to click and hold this okay i want to click and hold this then move to this i move this after click and hold i want to move this particular option onto the norway and i want to release it here release it okay so that on the norway it will be released so that's what i want to do guys okay so i want to click and hold this oslo and uh, move, move till norway and then release that's what i want to do so that is nothing but drag and drop okay i have dragged this oslo onto the norway option so how to do that for that guys i'll refresh this page and by default it is like this i'll copy this application url where these options are available i need to move drag and drop this oslo onto the norway so for that how i can do okay, i'll just change the application url first the remaining code i'll uh, remove it first then now after going here what i want to do is i want to uh, drag and drop that oslo onto the norway for that i'll first create an object for the actions class new actions i'll say new actions and here driver i'll pass then actions dot first i will say click and hold okay first uh, first uh, i'll take this predefined method of the actions class that is click and hold with web element okay i want to click and hold the which web element uh, oslo okay click and hold this oslo how to click and uh, hold that oslo right click on this oslo inspect this create a web element for this oslo guys right click on this oslo and inspect this you see this oslo option is having an id so i can create id locator for that so here i'll create a web element web element uh, oslo oslo uh, oslo i'll say simply say okay oslo driver dot find element by dot id it has an id locator right so like this i'll create a web element for the oslo now this oslo i'll provide it here after clicking and uh, holding the oslo what i want to do is i want to move this oslo to the while this is clicked and holded i want to move the oslo onto the norway okay i want to move this particular oslo onto the norway how to move that oslo onto the norway for that i have to say move to dot move to i don't have to write separate lines guys actions dot click and hold because this will return you the you see this particular click and hold is returning you uh, actions object reference of the actions only so with that object reference i am calling the another method that is move to okay actions dot this is nothing but actions dot move to element which which element i have to move this oslo option to which web element i need to move the oslo onto the norway web element for that i'll create a web element for the norway inspect that norway guys and this is html code of the norway it has some id copy this id and here create a web element driver dot find element by dot id 
ID of that Norway option. So here I'll say Norway is equal to Norway is equal to, and I'll simply say create a okay web element. And here I'll copy this Norway onto the move element. Okay. So after uh, clicking and holding Oslo and moving on to Norway, I need to just release like this. Release like this. how to release? I have to say dot release. That's it. Okay. Dot release. That's it. Now how many predefined methods I have written in a single line? Here one, two, three. Three predefined methods of the actions class. If there are more than one, simply say dot. Instead of saying dot perform, you have to say dot build dot perform. Okay, that's what you have to do. Now, guys, since dot build dot perform is that this all these predefined methods will be builded together and will be performed. Okay. Now run this. Oslo need to be dragged and dropped onto the Norway. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Oslo need to be dragged and dropped onto the Norway. You see, the Oslo got dragged and dropped onto Norway. So you see, it's happening. It's happened. Done, guys. Okay, with this, uh, I showed you few other predefined methods how to use. Okay, that is a click and hold, move to element and release. But guys, whatever the thing that I have done with this click and hold, move to element, release can be done using a single predefined method of the actions class. Okay, instead of writing these three predefined methods, if you have used drag and drop, then the task is very simple. Okay, so. So instead of writing like this, let me comment out this. Okay, instead of writing like this, what you can do is you can simply say actions dot drag. Okay, actions dot drag and drop, not drag and drop by. It's drag and drop. Two web elements will be required here. Okay, web element source, web element target. When I say drag, uh, drag and drop, here I need to pass two elements. First element is Oslo. I want to drag the Oslo onto which element? Target element is Norway. Copy the Norway here. Say dot perform single command right. Perform is enough. You see, instead of writing this many predefined methods like click and hold, move to element release, you can simply write drag and drop and pass it to web elements. Yeah. Same task will be done, guys. Oslo will be dragged and dropped onto the Norway without any problem. This is the simplest way you can say. This is the simplest way I can say. Instead of writing the three predefined methods, you can simply get that done in a single method that is drag and drop, predefined method of the actions class. Let's wait for the application to load first. Okay. Sometimes it takes time. Just let's hit enter just to save the time. Yeah. After the application is loaded, you see the Oslo has been dragged and dropped onto the Norway, right? So with the drag and drop, done. So drag and drop is also done, guys. Then let's move on to the next one. Few more predefined methods are left out. We are almost there. So the next predefined methods I want to demonstrate as part of this session are key down and key up methods. Okay. Key down and key up methods. So you can press and uh, hold the key. And if you want to release the key, you can say key up, okay? Where exactly it is useful, I'll tell you, okay? Where exactly, uh, before uh, before telling you like where exactly this key down and key up uh, predefined methods of the actions class will come to use. Let me uh, try to automate something, okay? So let's say based on the requirement, we'll use that predefined methods. What I want to do is I want to open this application URL and I just want to click on this uh, link, compendium dev link, okay? So that's what I want to do, guys. If I click on this compendium dev, you'll be taken to the this web page. Okay, this web page will be taken to. So let let me automate that. Very simple one, right? So let me automate that. First, I'll I'll change this URL, my.blogspot.com. After going to this application page, I simply want to click on this compendium dev link. I'll inspect this compendium dev link, and this is the HTML code of the compendium dev link. I'll copy paste this, copy this uh, text between the tags to create a link text, and here I'll simply say Whatever dot find element by dot link text or using the mouse if you want to click. Let's say you want, using the mouse you want to click this compendium dev. First, let's create a web element for this compendium dev by dot link text. Sorry, by dot link text. And here, let me provide the link text and create a web element for this. Uh, what is the option, guys? Compendium dev. Compendium dev link like this. Okay. Now create the web element for this. Now using the actions, using the mouse, I want to click on that. Okay, actions. Actions is equal to new actions. First, we need to create an object for the actions class. And in the constructor of the actions, we have to pass the driver. And now say actions dot. I just want to click on that. Okay, I just want to click on that link. Okay, I just want to click on this uh, compendium dev link. So what I have to do, guys, to click on this compendium dev link, what I have to do? I have to first uh, move my mouse onto the compendium dev, like right? 
to this particular web element, I need to first move the mouse. Okay, I just need to move my mouse onto the compendium dev. Then I have to click on that. I have to mouse click on that. First, I have to move my mouse onto the compendium dev. Then I have to click on that. So for that, guys, first I will say dot go to element. Which element? Compendium dev link. After moving your mouse onto the compendium dev link, like this, it will be there. Now click on that. Dot click. That's it. Mouse click. This is a mouse click, not normal click. So after, since there are two predefined methods of the actions class in the second statement, I'll have to say dot build dot perform. Okay, now let's run this code. You should click on that uh, using the mouse. It has to click on that link guys, compendium dev link. Let's see what will happen. Okay, it has clicked on the link. You see, it has worked out. But I want to change the requirement a bit. What I want to do is, I want to click on this compendium dev link, but uh, this particular link should not open in the same window or tab. It's, instead, it has to open in a new tab. This compendium dev should open in a new tab. If I click like this, it's opening in the same same window, right? So same tab, right? So instead of that, uh, when I click on that, I want to open this. So how we can do that? Uh, if you have to do it manually, guys, I just need to press Okay, I just need to press and hold the control key and then click on that, you see, and then release. Release the control key, you see, it has opened in the new tab. You see, I'll, I'll tell you guys how to do that, okay? So just move your mouse onto this, uh, just move your mouse onto this element and say control, click, control, click, control, click, control, click, control, click. And after that, you have to release the key, right? After control clicks, you have to release the key. Control, click, release, control, Click release. Press and hold the control key. Click on this link and release. You see this particular link also got an open in a new tab. Press and hold the control key. Click on this link and release. The key. Press and hold the control key. Click on the link and release the key. Like this, guys, you can open the links in new tabs manually. The same thing if I want to simulate or automate. What I can do is. So what I can do is uh, here, guys. Okay. So after moving to this compendium dev link, I just want to. Okay, so here I'll change the code a bit, guys. Okay, I'll simply say actions. Actions dot. First, I want to press and hold the control key. To press and hold the control key, guys, to press and hold the control key, we can use this key down. One of the predefined method we can use from the actions class to press and hold the control, one of the keyboard keys, that is key down. How to do that? I have to say dot actions dot key down. Okay, so inside this key down, we have to pass the key. There's a predefined uh, class known as keys class in selenium there is a predefined class known as keys class using which we can access all the keys for example if i write the predefined class of selenium that is keys class you see this is from selenium library keys from selenium library now if i say keys dot there are a lot of predefined things okay each and everything is a key guys separate key you see alt key arrow down key on your keyboard a lot of keys will be there like this right end key enter key F1 key, F8 key, and all the different keys. All the keys are provided here, guys. But which which key I need to uh, key down and hold there itself, okay? I just want to press down the key. I want to press down the key. Which key? Control key. In our requirement, I need to press and hold the control key. After pressing and holding the control key on my keyboard, by simulating that keyboard key action event here, by pressing and holding the control key, what I want to do next is I want to Move to element. Which element I want to move? I want to move my mouse onto the compendium dev link. Then what I want to do? Control key, move to element, and then I want to click on the element. Dot click. Right? I want to click on this compendium dev link. After clicking that, what I want to do? After clicking that, uh, anyhow the link will open in the new tab. And then I want to release the key. Key up, I will say. Key up. Here, the same key that is a control key. I need to release using key up dot okay. Why it's not coming? Let's see again keys dot control. Okay, I just need to type the capital. Okay, capital. Uh, Letter. That's why it's not coming. That's okay. Key key down means press and hold the key, which key control key on your keyboard. C T R L key on keyboard. After after pressing and holding the control key, I just moved my mouse onto the compendium dev link, this particular hyperlink. 
and then I clicked on the hyperlink and then after clicking that uh, the link will open in the new tab then I can release the key whatever the key I have holded hit hit and hold it right press and hold it right that uh, that key I'm releasing it using the key up then here a lot of predefined methods of the actions class like one method two method three method and four methods we have to use we have you already used in the single statement so what I will do here is I'll say dot build dot perform I'll say dot build dot perform okay build all these predefined methods of the actions class and then perform run this this time guys the compendium dev link need to be clicked but it has to open in new tab okay but it has to open in the new tab let's see we are simulating that uh, mouse key up and down okay down and up you see the compendium dev link got opened in the new tab and we got successful in our simulation okay done now let's move on guys okay key down and key up methods are done now okay and then i demonstrated how to open a link in new tab okay by pressing down the key and releasing the key using key up key down for pressing and holding the key key up to release the key now let's go on and uh, let's go with the next example that i want to automate or simulate mouse actions using selenium so with the help of actions class one of the uh, predefined methods of the actions class let's do this resizing using drag and drop by predefined method of actions so i have this sample application guys uh, to demonstrate this resizing part so let me take you to this application url you see on this application url uh, on this page resizable page uh, you see there is a kind of thing here you see there is an option here when i when i uh, move my mouse onto this option and i can you see resize this okay i can either make it kind of smaller or bigger this action this particular event i want to simulate using mouse we have to do it right we have to simulate the mouse for this but how to do that so let me uh, take this application url i'll show you guys uh, with the help of this uh, command predefined method of the actions class that is a uh, drag and drop by i already used this drag and drop by here for this with this slider right uh, the same drag and drop by i'm going to use okay the same drag and drop by i'm going to use uh, with this for resizing this particular thing element okay so further guys uh, i'll just uh, copy this url and come back here and uh, paste it here okay replace this url and remove all this stuff we'll freshly write the code after going to this uh, what i need to do is after going here what i need to do is i just need to uh, inspect this option guys okay i need to, i just need to inspect this option using which i can drag here and there okay i just need to inspect that option using which i can drag using the mouse and all okay i'll just write uh, right click here and say inspect uh, inspect okay i just i'll also open the selector sub here side by side just see what is happening you see selector sub is in, in uh, we should not depend on this kind of tools like selector sub but still it's kind of hinting us selector sub is hinting us like uh, there is an element okay there is an element inside the frame okay there is this particular element that you are trying to interact or trying to automate is inside a frame as explained in one in the previous session right i in the previous session i explained how to handle uh, frames and iframes in selenium automation right so this particular element if you try to interact directly you will get no such element exception you see that i'll show you as explained in the previous session only this particular element is inside a frame guys okay so first we have to switch to the frame then only we can inspect this element okay we can inspect this uh, we can actually work with the interact with this element so what will happen if you don't switch to the frame and directly try to move this element and all you will get no such element exception okay if you are not clear with that guys okay you can go and watch the previous session about the frames i'm not going to cover frames again in this session but what i want to do is uh you see first we have to switch to this frame where this particular element is available under so under the page there is a frame under the frame th this particular element is there okay in this page there is a frame inside the frame we have this element but how to find this frame where this particular element is available so this is a this is a html code of this element guys scroll up you see there is a frame here right you see the blue highlighted portion on the ui is nothing but the frame inside the frame that element is there so what i have to do is uh, it has a class case class uh, class is there i'll just create an create a web element using this class locator for this iframe so first i what i will do is i'll simply say driver dot driver dot find element i'll create a web element for that uh, frame uh, what is that class name right class name locator i'll provide the class name locator here and say put a semicolon here i'll create a web element for this first 
This is nothing but the frame element. I'll say frame element is equal to for the mouse create web element for the frame has been created. Now I'll simply say driver dot switch to dot frame off. This is a command I have to use. In the previous session, I explained about this statement why we have to use and all. Okay. Now I need to pass this frame element to this frame command. That's it. So here first we have to switch to the frame, guys. Uh, in that frame only this option is available. Now after you switch to the frame, now you can interact with this element. So what I want to do is I want to drag this using the mouse and uh, drop by somewhere. Okay. So for that, guys, first I need to create an object for the actions class. Actions actions is equal to new actions like this. I need to create an object for the actions class, and I need to pass this driver to this actions. After switching to the frame, then I need to create an object for the actions class and pass the driver constructor into the constructor. And using the actions, I'll use this command known as drag and drop by. Okay. I told you right. This one we are going to use with this uh, resizable thing. Drag and drop by. You see, in this drag and drop by, first we have to pass the web element that you want to drag and drop by. That web element is nothing but this particular uh, option, guys. Okay. This particular option is nothing but the web element. Let me create a locator. Okay. Let's let me create a CSS selector for this kind of uh, uh, the resizable option. So here, due tag is there, and uh, there is some class, uh, but this class has multiple. You see, a lot of spaces are there between the class. Okay. So this one looks, this portion looks unique. This, you see UI receivable handle is common for all these uh, views, but um, this part is kind of unique for me. The last part is uh, UI icon, grip small, diagonal SE, some that kind of unique for this particular div tag, okay? So I'll copy this and uh, say control F and here I'll say div, CSS selector, div dot, that class name, okay? Div, div dot, uh, that portion of the class name, okay? Here multiple classes we have in the class attribute. I'm taking the last class div dot UI. Okay, like this, I can create an XPath express, a CSS selector for this option. So after after doing that, guys, copy this and come back here. Here, create a web element for that resizable option. Resizable option. Driver dot find element by dot CSS selector. Provide the CSS selector for that and uh, put it semicolon here. Resizable option web element actually. This is okay. Done. Now this resizable option you just give it here. Drag and drop by first option should be web element. Two more options are x offset and y offset. Okay. So here, guys, I need to I can drag this uh, vertically and horizontally at same time, right? This is vertically. You see, dragging it vertically. This is dragging it horizontally. Okay. I can do it both. So how much I need to drag uh, horizontally and uh, how much I need to drag vertically? First one is horizontal, guys. You see, x offset means horizontal. Horizontally, let's say I want to drag this horizontally, uh, let's say by 100. Okay, I'll give 100 here. Vertically, I want to drag, okay, 100 like this, and vertically, I want to drag a bit more. I'll just give 120 here, okay? Vertical is 120. More vertically, fine. By default, how much it is there? Let's see. By default, like this, it is there. But I want to drag uh, horizontally this much, vertically this much. So you already know the predefined methods of the actions class you have to end with dot perform okay then only they will run run this first we will be switching to the frame under which that resizable option is there then only we can interact with the resizable option okay using the mouse and all those stuff so you see it has dragged horizontally and vertically guys okay so we are done with this example this is how guys we can drag and drop we can use drag and drop by with the resizable elements not only that guys uh, uh, one more example is that that is jQuery right click menu. Okay, so I'll take you to one application like this. So here we don't have this normal right click. Okay, here we are not going to get a normal right click. jQuery right click menu will come. Okay, you see on this application page there is a there is a right click uh, me kind of button, guys. Okay, this is a jQuery related. Okay, right click on this you will get jQuery menu. Okay, this is not the general right click option you are not getting. Okay. So you are getting the jQuery right click options are coming. Okay, this application related right click options are coming. This is this is possible with the help of jQuery guys. Okay, so now in this guys, I just want to select this quit. Okay, in this I want to select the quit. When I click on the quit guys, you see when I select this quit, this alert is coming. Okay, this particular alert is coming. Fine. What I can do here is, what I can do here is, uh, I'll first copy this URL guys. Okay, I'll refresh this page once. I'll copy this uh, URL, paste it here. Paste it here. Now remove this part. 
now after going to the application url what i want to do i want to right click on this right click okay so if i'll inspect somewhere because if i right click on this i'll get right click many options right so i'll not get inspect options i am right clicking and inspecting somewhere on the page and after that i'll use this inspect option and uh, hold the mouse on this right click so that uh, i can inspect this right click this is the way to right click this is the way to inspect this kind of button you see there is some text between the tags let's span tags copy this and just span tag control f double slash span text is equal to whatever the text i copied from the tags between the tags you see like this if i write the xpath expression only one element is getting located that element is nothing but the right click me button okay the query button copy this xpath expression and create the web element driver dot find element driver dot find element by dot xpath provide the xpath expression put a semicolon here create a web element guys what is the web element right click me is a web element right click me is a web element okay right click me button button jquery button for the mouse and say create a local variable web element got created now using the actions class i want to right click on this right click me key button okay so actions actions is equal to i want to do mouse right click okay so for that i have to use actions simulate the mouse actions 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 is equal to new actions here i need to pass this particular driver guys let me pass this driver and now say actions dot what is the predefined method we have in the actions class to perform right click context click right let's go with the context click of which web element on which element i need to right click or context click this right click menu me button i have to right click so after doing that guys i will simply say dot perform i'll say okay dot perform dot perform i'll say so now let's run this and see what's happening first it has to right click on that right click me button and we should get all the jquery right click menu options okay you see we got the right uh, jquery right click menu options in that i need to select bit option okay in this uh, i need to select the bit option so what i will do here is i'll just right click and uh, inspect this bit option guys okay so can i inspect this i am not able to right click here you see right click i am not able to right click here so what i will do is i again use the same option guys this inspect option and inspect it here and uh, this one it's locating see it, there is a quit here copy this quit it has span having the text as quit okay double slash span text is equal to text is equal to that quit okay like this i'll write so this xpath expression is locating this quit option so copy this xpath expression and create the web element for that here just create the web element for this so here i'll say okay uh here i'll say uh web element driver dot find element by dot xpath give the xpath option uh, xpath of the quit option quit option i'll say okay this is a quit option quit option or the mouse create the web element done now say actions dot actions dot click on that web element which web element i need to click on using the mouse i am going to click on the this quit op option quit option now click on that and say dot perform that's it okay now run this code it has to click on the quit we should get the alert if the alert is coming with the quit uh, text right that means uh, the option has been clicked okay the jquery right click menu option has been selected using this click of the mouse using the mouse click you see it has been clicked and alert is coming with the same quit now guys i want to overcome this alert what i have to do guys very simple you already know in one of the previous sessions i explained about the alert what how to handle the alerts i already explained as and covered as part of one of the previous sessions guys right? simply we have to say driver dot switch to dot alert okay driver dot switch to that alert uh, this particular alert will return you the alert interface okay object reference of the alert interface alert is equal to that is alert interface will be returned and uh, using that alert dot i just simply need to say alert dot get text retrieve the text from that alert what is a click with is a text okay that text i'll say text on alert i'll print this text onto the output i'll simply say system dot out dot print ln sys out tap text on alert after printing the text i want to accept the alert so i'll simply say alert dot alert dot accept i want to say okay so accept is a command that's it guys okay once you accept the alert it will be going off okay let's run this it should work like this whatever i showed you 
it, it will right click on the the jquery button and you'll get the uh, jquery right click menu in that it will select the quit option and uh, alert will come we will be switching to the alert and accepting the alert uh, retrieving the text and printing the output console and you see everything happened very fast and in the output also you see the text will be there the text on the alert also came okay so this proves that we we have done the job well done great so after this guys what i have to do here is after this what i have to do is uh, let's go to the next one next example the last and final one guys so most of the cases guys uh, with whatever the predefined methods i covered so far most of the cases we have actually simulated the mouse events okay till now most of the cases like 90 to 95 percent mouse events okay only five percent somewhere keyboard keys came right but now the last one is all about the keyword okay keyboard events so how to simulate the keyboard events so like uh, pressing some keys on the keyboard like pressing the tab key and all those stuff pressing the enter key how to do that using the predefined methods of the actions class i'm going to show you that is the last one okay fine so what i want to do here is uh, let's say there is an application guys okay this uh, this particular application so i have taken you to the register page of this application we have to create an uh, we have to create an account here okay where we need to create an account what i want to simulate is first i want to type my name into this like this and after that i want to use only the keyboard keys okay i just want to press tab key you see the moment i press tab key on my keyboard uh, my control has went to the last name so here i'll type motor my last name i'll type again i have to press tab key and here i need to enter some email address like this some valid email address i'll enter now again i have to press tab key using the keyboard keys i'm moving to the next fields here i need to give the phone number i'll enter the phone number like this and press the tab key here i need to enter the password one two three four five tab key one two three four five again when i press tab key the control is going to no option but i don't do anything there again i'll press tab key the control went to privacy policy option on the page again i'll press tab key control went to checkbox field i'll not do anything till now guys again okay i'll press so here guys uh, we can do one thing we can uh, press one key actually space bar if you press space bar key here okay in this place if you press space bar the checkbox option will be selected now press tab key okay then uh, continue button continue button got uh, highlighted now i press the enter key done okay email is already registered message will come this all this scenario i want to automate guys okay whatever we have seen so far i just want to automate that so here most of the cases i am simulating the keyboard keys okay i am simulating the keyboard keys i'll take this application url and uh, here i'll remove all this code guys i'll remove all this code so mostly i'm going to simulate the keyboard keys okay so first we'll go to this application url after going there i just need to type my name into the first name field okay so for that i'll inspect this first name field i'll inspect this first name field and it has an id guys copy this id locator of that uh, first name field i'll simply say driver dot find element by dot id provide the id and say dot send keys and provide this my name as a send keys okay i'm providing my first name in the send keys after this guys i just want to press after entering my name here i just want to press the tab key okay i want to simulate pressing the tab key what will happen if i press the tab key here it will go to the next field automatically okay so how to do that for that i will say actions actions is equal to new actions to simulate the keyboard events also we need to create an object for the actions not only for the mouse events but also for the keyboard events also we have to use the same actions class and i will pass the driver here and now i'll say actions dot actions dot what guys i have to use a command known as send keys command to press that uh, keyboard keys and release we need to there itself we have to press and release the key then we have to use send keys there are two types of send keys uh, in, in one of the send keys i need to press the uh, keys in another send keys i can type the text okay so i'll use a normal uh, this uh, send keys where you have to press the keys guys okay either char character sequence or keys i have to enter in this send keys i have to give the key keyboard keys or i can enter the text guys char sequence or keys okay i'll i'll go with the first one here I'll simply say one of the predefined method of the Selenium that is keys class is there, which will contain all the keys. Which pre I need to press and release using the send keys, it will release and it will press and release the key. Which key I want to press and release the tab key. So give capital, capital TAB. 
so this will press and release the tab key the moment it presses and release the tab key here it will go our cursor will go to the control will go to the last name now after the control goes to the last name i want to type text into the last name so what i will do here is i'll simply say dot send keys i'll say dot again send keys this time i'm not going to give any key i'm just going to type some text guys okay using the send keys so how to type the text here i will type the text i want to type that is motori text i want to type here after typing this text again i want to press the tab key to press the tab key here i have to say dot send keys keys dot tab i have to say done after doing that again dot and i have to give the enter my email address here into this field so i'll say send keys i will give my email address okay after giving the email address like this i just need to press tab key again so just to press the tab key here i have to say dot send keys here i have to give keys dot tab now again so you see it's going out of lines so what i will do here is i'll just uh, take that into new lines guys okay like this i can write okay dot dot like this is a better way to write okay so that you can see the code now here after pressing the after entering the email address and pressing the tab key the control is going here into the telephone here i want to type the text i'll say send keys telephone number 1234567890 like this and again press enter after entering the telephone number here i just want to press tab key here so it will go to the password field so dot send keys keys dot tab and again dot send keys here i need to enter the text password that is 1234 file enter then again and uh, after entering 1234 here i just need to press tab key and again here also i need to enter some text dot send keys again the same password i'll enter 1234 now after pressing 123 uh, after entering 1234 here again i need to press tab key so i'll say dot uh, send keys is dot tab after that again i need to press tab key this time it's going to privacy policy i don't want to do anything then two times i need to press tab key here okay so dot second time i am pressing the uh, send keys of keys dot tab okay second time i am pressing from here one time two time okay now third time i have to press okay then tab key then it will go to the checkbox field dot send keys dot send keys keys dot tab here guys not only this keys dot tab i will press the space space bar key also dot send keys to select the checkbox field i will press send keys dot keys dot space bar keys dot space i think this is the one space then after uh, pressing the space here you see this option will be selected the checkbox option will be selected now again i need to press tab key so that the control go to the continue button so i'll say dot send keys keys dot tab i'll say and now after going here i want to press the continue button okay so i'll simply say dot send keys keys dot enter i'll say okay enter button the moment i say uh, enter button you see it will be loaded like this this is what i have do, done okay this is what i have done but at the end guys you have to say you should not forget to say dot build dot dot perform because none of these predefined methods of the actions class will work without specifying this dot build dot perform okay let's see guys uh, whether we are able to simulate this particular activity or not let's see with this uh, keyboard simulations let's see what will happen it will open the application uh, chrome browser maximize the browser open the application url it will take to the register page directly and it has to enter the details you see it was very fast okay so something wrong happened here it has uh, typed arun motori and all those stuff a password does not match it is saying any problem we have done giving the password no right so gave it correctly only why it's not taking okay so here guys i just forgot to press the key key tab okay so here after entering this i have to say dots and keys you see some mistakes are there let's correct them dot tab i have to say now let's run this this time let's run this guys i forgot to press the tab key there
it was typing one two three four five one two three five and five into the same password field. Okay, because I was not pressing the tab. So just hit a okay Aaron and all the stuff. You see, it worked fine, right? Selected the checkbox option. It clicked on the and uh, we got the details also. So there is one more uh, enhancement, guys. It was very fast, right? The script was very fast. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. I want to delay it. Okay. I don't want it to be too much fast. Okay. So I want to type it slow, step by step. With some delay, I want to press these keys and uh, enter the text. Okay. So with some delay. So what I will do is I'll simply do one thing, guys. After pressing tab key, I'll take some one second off. Okay. One second, I'll halt the program. For that, guys, there is a command here in actions class. There is one command known as pass command. Okay. Pass this one I will take. Pass duration dot of seconds I'll say. Okay. How many seconds you want to pass the script? One second I want to pass the script. This is one of the predefined commands of the actions class using which, while performing this actions events using the actions class, we can pass the script for that specified time. Okay. So after every key tap, I will pass the script for one second. Okay. Just to be make sure that nothing is going wrong. So here I'll just copy paste. After every tap key press, I'll just pass the script for one second. Okay. Here also, I'll put a dot here. Done. Here two dots. After every key tap, I'll key tab is pressed. I'll just pass it. Okay. So that's what I am trying to do. Pass here dot is there. That's it. I guess everything is fine. Send keys. Uh, send keys dot tap pass. Yeah. Now let's run this code. This time you see, you will see a delay in the script, guys. Okay. So before uh, entering any text into a new field, uh, it will actually wait for one second and type. That's what is the purpose of the pass. Okay. It will delay the script by one second. First, it has type Arun Motori. Now email address. After one second, password. After one second, password confirm. You see, you can see what's happening on the script, right? So this is how the script has got executed. So uh, script has been successfully executed, guys, and a uh, lot of different predefined methods of the actions class for simulating the mouse and not only mouse events, but also the keyboard events also I have successfully demonstrated as part of this session, right? So in, in the last part, I explained about the, how to use send keys with actions class and how to use pass, pass predefined method with the actions class. And uh, okay, this particular thing I explained. So so guys, with this, we are done with this. Uh, how to handle, how to handle mouse and keyboard events using actions class in Selenium. Okay, all these things I covered as part of this session. So that's all for this session, guys. Thank you. Bye.